Praise the Lord. Are you ready for this morning's message? Thank you, Jesus. Well, today's message is entitled, Jesus is your miracle. Hallelujah. So let's say that together. Jesus is your miracle. Or you can say, Jesus is my miracle. Amen. But uh, that's the main uh, title. I have a subtitle to this message. And that subtitle is, When You're Out... Christ is in. Can we say that? When you're out, Christ is in. Amen. So, let me just get into the message. When you're out of the picture, Christ is in. But when you're in the picture, Christ is out. Therefore, we need to remove ourselves and let Christ be in the, be the central figure in the picture of of our lives. Amen. Hallelujah. The reason why we mess up is because we like to be in the limelight when the focus should be on Christ who's the lamb light. Very good. Amen. Now to help us win our battles, and this is really good now, to help us win our battles, it is important for us to know who the contestants in the battle are. Example, the battle, the battle is not sin versus you. You know what the battle is? The battle is sin versus Christ. See that? If you see the rivals in the battle as sin versus you, do you think you're going to win? No way, because even the great apostle Paul, in his own strength, could not overcome the rival of sin as he so mentions in Romans chapter 7. So could you turn with me to Romans 7, verses 15 to 23. Romans chapter 7, 15 to 23. It seems that the Lord is referring us to this portion of Scripture a lot lately. Romans chapter 7, 
And if you look from verse 15, we would see how that the Apostle Paul had his battle with sin. Romans chapter 7, and looking from verse 15. The Apostle Paul says this, For what I am doing I do not understand. For what I will to do that I do not practice. But what I hate that I do. So he was going through this conflict. If then I do what I will not to do, I agree that the law, I agree with the law that it is good. But now it is no longer I who do it, but sin that dwells in me. Now it seems like he's making it an excuse, right? He's saying there's something inside of me, there's sin in me that's causing me to transgress. Causing me to do things that I really don't want to do. Verse 18, For I know that in me that is in my flesh, nothing good dwells. Did you know that? No matter how good a person is outside of Christ, whatever he does from the production of his flesh, it's all unacceptable before God. No value before God. So it says, For... I know that in me that is in my flesh, nothing good dwells, for to will is present with me, but how to perform what is good, I do not find. I have a desire to do good, but I cannot find the power in my own self to do and to perform that which is good. For the good that I will to do, I do not do, but the evil I will not to do, that I practice. Now, if I do what I will not to do, it is no longer I who do it, but sin that dwells in me. See, that battle that he was having with sin. I find then a law that evil is present with me, and the one who wills to do good. So there is one that... There's an evil, and yet there's a part of him that wanted to do good. For I delight in the law of God according to the inward man. But I see another law in my members, warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity, capturing me to the law of sin, which is in my members. So he recognized that sin was not just sin, but it was a law, right? And law, a law is something that's constant, like we mentioned, the law of gravity. And so human power cannot defeat law power. And so the only way that we can defeat law power is by another law power. Now, therefore, according to the Apostle Paul's experience, the battle of sin with himself was a dismal defeat for him. So the question is, how was he going to have victory over sin? Answer. He had to first see that the battle was not between sin and himself, but that the battle was between sin and Christ. Now we've got to see that. <laughs> Hence, the Apostle Paul continues on in Romans 7, verse 24 and 25. And he says this. Look at verse 24 and 25. It says, O wretched man that I am. Oh, how miserable a man that I am. Who will deliver me from this body of death? Who, in other words, who will deliver me from this body of sin? Now, as he's proclaiming this, as he's screaming out in agony because he wants to really be walking in the righteousness of God, and he says, who's going to deliver me from this body of death and this body of sin? He's still in the battle between sin and himself. That's why... He's in this dilemma. Who's going to deliver me from this body of death? But then, just before verse 25 takes place, things change. He gets a revelation. And now he sees it. 
He sees it, that the battle is not between sin and himself, but now he sees the battle is between sin and Christ. And that's why he says in verse 25, I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. In other words, I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. We can have the victory over sin because I recognize that the battle is not between sin and myself, but it's between sin and Christ. Amen. And if it's between sin and Christ, who's going to win? Christ. Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. And having this understanding, hallelujah, after much, much defeat and failure, the Apostle Paul finally saw that the battle was not between sin and himself, but the battle was between sin and himself. And this is a big discovery. And having this revelation, the Apostle Paul entered into the rest of grace. As he realized that truly the battle was not his, but the battle was the Lord's. All he did was he took himself out of the picture and put Christ in. As he put Christ in, as a result, sin was defeated. Hallelujah. You see, when you're out... Christ is in, and victory becomes yours. Amen. That's the only time when the umpire says, you're out, that it's good. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Turn to your neighbor tell them, you're out. You're out. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. In addition, we need to know that the battle is not sin, oh, excuse me, is not sickness versus you, right? The battle is sickness versus who? Christ. Amen. You see, when, when you understand this, when you begin to look at this, you say, wow, the battle is not mine. The battle